today is going to be chassis prep. So I'm removing the old under seal off of the chassis. And the way I'm doing that is by using this needle gun, the same as I did the front of the chassis when the engine was out. So I spent most of yesterday um, with the needle gun and the chassis is actually really solid. It, the under seal that was on has done a really good job but now it's, it's having the other effect. So rather than protecting the chassis, it's actually trapping water in and it's starting to deteriorate. So that's why I've got the needle gun to chip all the old under seal off and then I can get the flat blades on the grinder and rub the chassis down to a nice smooth looking finish before putting the under seal on and the chassis paint. Now when using, I can't stress enough, I know I've said it in my other videos, but when using these needle guns you need really thick gloves, ear defenders and glasses. I've read these, they're a really good tool but they're really bad for you at the same time. If you've ever met anybody with vibration white finger you can understand why they are so keen on telling you. It's a horrible thing. So anything to prevent it, I'm up for that. So as you can see with the rust and chippings all over the floor, I was at this most of the day yesterday. Uh, the chassis is in really good condition. I'm happy with the chassis. Uh, there's just bits and bobs to finish off. I've got to do the middle, middle section of the chassis and then I'll get on with it with the grinder. If you've got any pets like these two, I'd put them in the house, get them out of the way because the noise of this is deafeningly loud, even for us. So imagine what it's like for them. So I'm going to put these two in the house now, out of the way, and then I'll get on with it. break now you can see now that actually the under seal where it's been well where it's not been flaking off has actually protected the chassis really really well there's still chassis paint on here hello any so that's so I've done the entire back cross member uh, the in, the rear chassis legs all inside and outside just finished doing the driver's side now so I'll have a break and uh, <laughs> Let the dogs out. And then I'll take you around it. That's one thing about if you have a tea break now and again. Well, if you have regular tea breaks, it gives your hands a rest from the vibration of the needle gun. But also, if you drink plenty of tea, that means you're running to the toilet every 20 minutes, so you're having a break anyway. <laughs> I know, I know. So it's just a passenger side to do now.
next stage after the needle gun is rubbing the chassis down to the bare metal. Now as you'll have probably seen in the axle video, I use these flat discs. Now in the axle, because of how circular it is, they, they do do the job, um, but they're a bit hard work. But for flat surfaces like the chassis, these are amazing. I mean, I probably, I've probably had a little go now and you can see already, because it, the chassis is nice and flat, you're using the full surface area of these flat discs. Uh, it speeds the job up loads. So I've done most of this side, I've just got to finish it off and then I'll move on to the other side. You can buy these from places like Tool Station or Screw Fix or most motor shops really. Uh, they're not that expensive, uh, it's, it's good to get two packs as well because they don't last very long if you run me down a chassis as crosly as this. So this is a 40 grit, so I'll get most of the uh, rust off with these and then move on to the 80 grit just to give it a nice smoother finish. As you can see that's the first coat of red oxide on. I have thinned it down so I can actually spray it rather than brush it. Uh, the, the bits of steel everywhere was just, it was all flaking off due to the sun seal so I've just decided I'll take every, everything with a needle gun and the flat blade as much as I can and then just completely spray over it. Uh, so far it's looking good. So it's a 4 to 1 ratio. Is, red oxide and uh, thinners and uh, once I'd set the gun up it started uh, coming out quite nice and it's, it's looking all right so this this first coat is just going off now so I'll give it about another 10 minutes and then I'll just put a thin coat over the top of it again I did the undercoat I <laughs> when I was cleaning the spray gun I dropped it and it broke and I couldn't get one anywhere so I finally got one now so I'll mix some chassis paint up and I'll get this chassis finished off <laughs>
tell the chassis complete. I'm over the moon with how it looks. It really, really does look really good. The only thing left to do regarding the chassis is put some wax oil on it. That will be in a separate video of the wax oil. Again, that's something else that's new to me. Painting was new, I've never done it before. Uh, but again, I'm really impressed with the results of it. Now, currently I've got a lot of upgrades that's come for the Land Rover, so I'm really, really excited now to get onto this rebuild. There's a lot of really good stuff coming. So don't forget to push that subscribe button. Another thing as well, I recently bumped into a couple of subscribers who recognised me from the videos. Brilliant. I, I could not believe that I bump into people now just because of these videos of the Land Rover. If you notice as well, I've got Instagram. It's a lot easier to get in contact with me if you want to ask any questions or just have a chat in general. So don't forget to check that out as well. Uh, if you do see me out and about, I don't bite. If you want to say hello, come say hello. Thank you for watching.